my loves it's Sean how are you and welcome to Shonda says it is Monday evening before I get into tonight's vlog are you enjoying the spring weather yeah I know you are I know I am I'm loving it and after the hellified winter we had last year mm, we deserve the weather that we're getting today yeah I've been getting out and walking every day I walk two miles a day or more and now I'm starting to incorporate jogging into my walk so I'm just popping my collar you know about all my hard work that I'm doing with my workout routine but anyway tonight's vlog is all about inspiration on Mondays I try to give you stories or just give you food for thought so inspirational Monday it is so I'm going to share this story with you I had this conversation in the car today with my sister I went to get my nails done which I did a French today I haven't done a French in a long time you like it I love it. The color is sweetie pie, and then I had them do the tip. But anyway, excuse me to get back to the vlog. Me and my sister in the car, and we're talking, and she brings up this old ID, this learner permit I had. I was about 23 years old, and I was a big girl. And she was saying, you know, sis, you're so different. She said, remember I would come visit you, and you didn't want to come out of the house? And she started bringing up all this stuff, and remember this, and remember that. And I just got teary eyed because I thought back to that time and I just was so freaking miserable. Now, she's laughing and joking. She's not expecting that it's going to bring up old stuff and she's not expecting or wanting to me to cry, you know. So she's going on and on and on. She realizes, looks over. She's like, babe, why are you crying? And I just was like, I am so different. I am so different now. And it just hit me because when she was talking about this ID, now I don't have it anymore, and I wish I did because I wish I could show you this ID. The person you see sitting here today looks nothing like that 22-year-old young woman. I was a good 220 pounds. My you, I'm 5'3". I was 220 pounds, my eyes were dark, and my face just had this solemnness to it. I just looked bad. So when she brought up the part where she was saying, remember I would come visit you and you didn't want to come out of the house? And it just reverted me back to that time because I was so insecure and so introverted and so unhappy because I had just... I had gained all this weight. When I was in high school, I literally was a size five. And I got out of high school and in, into a bad marriage and I gained all this weight. And I was no longer the person that I envisioned and the person that I saw. I just was walking through life. And I look back at my life now and I realize I call that ugly Shonda. And not only in appearance, my in my eyes, I'm not saying in appearance, but just, I don't get emotional thinking about it, but just going through that and, and being where I am today, I had to go through ugly. I had to go through ugly to get here. And sometimes... In life, we go through such horrible situations. We experience such pain, and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And you question, and you get angry, and you get mad. But the reality is that every ugly that I went through was a lesson for me to be a better woman today. And I've shared similar stories like this on my vlogs, I think. And... Um, I just needed to share that because, you know, a lot of people, when they write comments, oh, I love your hair, I love your makeup, your outfits, are all, this is all who I am today. But it took a lot for me to get here. So I truly appreciate my own experience. And I think that's the lesson is that you have to appreciate your own experience. And even though it may hurt, it may shame you. It may embarrass you, 
It'll make you angry. You have to go through ugly. You have to. It's almost like plastic surgery. You know, you come out of surgery with all these bandages and your face is puffed up, but you come out as a swan, if you're lucky, because we know those things could go bad. But it's like you have to go through that to get to a place of strength and beauty. So, you know, she kicked up some old feelings for me and it had me, you know, it had me emotional, but I realized I wouldn't trade the ugly now for nothing. I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it. Because now when I do, you know, these vlogs on inspiring you and, and, and believe it or not, many of you inspire me, it keeps me going to, to do this because of your participation in watching. So I, you know, someone came on my page, I want to end with this. Someone came on my page and insulted me. And I'm not going to give their name because that means I would be giving them attention. And I don't want to do that. So when they said what they said on my page, I wrote back. Now, you know, in this business, you're not going to get every like. It is what it is. The, the most famous man, Jesus Christ, that walked this earth didn't get a bunch of likes from everybody. And I don't expect that. But I do put a lot of love and heart into Shonda Says, into my vlogs. So she came onto my page and insulted me. So I hit her back because of the woman in me being defensive. And I said, you don't have to come on my page if you're not rocking with it, if you don't like it. You can, there's a million other YouTube channels. You can subscribe to that. Well, she wrote me back, shut up. So then it stopped. It, it, that's where it ended for me. Because I said, you know what? Not everybody is going to rock with who you are and what you do. That's just what it is. And when you love what you do, like I do, and what I've built and the audience that I've built and the people that love me and, and support me, that means everything to me. So when someone comes on my page and is insulting to the people that are on there who make comments or to me, I take it personal. So I say this and I share this with you because I am appreciative of my audience. And if for any reason there is someone on this vlog watching this vlog and you don't rock with what I am saying and you don't get me, there's a million other vlogs for you to watch. That's just my message to you. Because I know that you hate me enough that I you're still vested in me. And that's what it is about haters. It's just what it is. So the little lesson in this is that when you're doing good and you're trying to do good, there's always going to be people that try to suppress you. And they may even try to copy you. And they might even try to recreate what you do and who you are. But ultimately, anything that comes with you with ugly, you will destroy them with positivity. That's all I want to say. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you back here on Wednesday for a sex and relationship. God bless you. Bye-bye.